Bengaluru is currently plagued by civic apathy that continues to claim lives of innocents. Now, Friday, a 17-year-old girl died after a truck ran over her at Kachoharli Cross on Magde Road. In fact, the victim was identified as Nubia. Her sister Afreen and Aram, who were riding with her, sustained serious injuries but survived. According to cops, deceased brother was riding the scooter when he lost control while trying to avoid a pothole. In fact, this was not the lone incident in the high-tech city just the last week, on Wednesday, a 57-year-old excise department officer also lost his life due to pothole in the very same area. In fact, the Karnataka civic body was given time until September 30th to fill up all potholes on major roads. However, they failed to do so. Karnataka Revenue Minister R. Ashoka has also said now that roads in Bengaluru will be pothole-free by the 30th of October. Another promise made. Well, on Friday morning, an accident took place on the very busy Bengaluru Margadi Road. In fact, right over here where you can see all this muck, a young girl, a teenager, lost her life when she came under the wheels of a truck. What really happened was that they were actually on their way. In fact, they were also in the wrong. They were actually riding trips. So her relative was riding the bike. Her sister was there and she along, she was also present on the bike. What we're told is they tried to avoid this particular stretch of bad road where the authorities now have actually dumped mud and stones. So when they tried to avoid this, they slipped. And when they slipped... Two of her relatives fell on this side of the road, that is on the left. She fell on the right. Unfortunately, there was a truck coming behind her. She came under the wheels of that truck. People over here complain because this is the state of the road here. Just look at it. You have that one particular stretch on top, uh, the tarred road. But the rest of the road is completely damaged. In fact, just while we were shooting over here, before we actually started to record... A girl almost lost balance when she was on this part of the road and she tried to get onto the tar road. There was a truck behind her and he suddenly applied the brakes. So another girl would have lost her life in front of her our, our eyes. Thankfully, nothing happened. People complain that this is nothing but stepmotherly treatment on part of the Yelahanka MLA under whom this particular stretch of road comes under. And they say that umpteen number of complaints to the Yelahanka MLA have gone in vain. The MLA does not listen to them and they say that one or two incidents come to light where people lose their lives. But on a daily basis, there are many accidents that take place on this particular stretch of the road. With video journalist Madhuwar, Nolan Pinto for India Today. Potholes continue to exist in Bengaluru even after the deadline has gone. Right behind me is a pothole that you can see right in the middle of the city in Malayshwaram Assembly constituency. This is in front of a school. The BBMP is still not fill this pothole and this has been existing for over a month or so now it's only getting deeper we have seen how people have lost lives in bengaluru city because of potholes recently also a 17 year old girl came under a truck after she fell off the vehicle trying to avoid a pothole just off the magdi road in bengaluru city september 30th was the deadline given by the minister our revenue minister R. Ashok for BBMP to fill up all the potholes. But however, things have been moving very slowly and the potholes still continue to exist in the city. Such potholes can be uh, refilled is what they say. You can still see wet patches here because last night also it did rain here in Bengaluru city. And the Med Department says it will continue for another five to three days or so. But however, commuters say that, say, says that, that there, this is not a reason for the government to hide behind that it's raining this should have been done much before much before the monsoons took place certain places yes they have uh, filled up the potholes and they have cleared the potholes but many places still it exists and the accidents continue to happen nagar sundwar kanath for india today now, meanwhile, Congress has slammed the ruling party for poor condition of roads. MLA Rizwan Ashad calls the city is orphaned, saying citizens' ordeal are falling on deaf ears as ministers are busy fighting among themselves. We, we, even before the rain was, uh, before the rains commenced, even then the potholes were very much there. What happened? They are going and giving assurance after assurance to the High Court. And today the government has no regard for the High Court's direction. One. Two, I don't believe that there is a governance in this state today. It is a free-for-all thing. We are not happy with the way they are functioning. BBMP has become a burden on the Bangalore city, then being an agency which provides relief.